If you can walk, you can dance. What the foxtrot? In this video, we're going to teach you the basics of the three most common dances, the waltz, the tango, and the foxtrot, so you can look good and feel confident on the dance floor. All right, gang, now as promised, you only have to be able to walk to do these ballroom dances, and there's only four directions that you can walk in, forward, back, left, and right. So let's talk about that real quick. So as the leader, I'm going to do the leader's footwork on my side. My left foot is always going to start. The follower's right foot is always going to start. So whether you're doing this with a partner or without, you'll still be able to learn the basics. We can walk forward. That's one direction. So we go left, two, three. We're going to touch on the last step. Then I'm going to walk back on the right foot, back, two, three and touch, we go left, two, three and touch, and back, two, three and touch. And if you're the follower. Followers are gonna go back on the right first, so we have right, left, right, touch, and left, right, left, touch. So we do that one more time, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. So that's forward and back. And then we're gonna go sideways to my left, Megan's right. We're gonna go side together, side with a touch, side together, side, and again, left, right, left with a touch, and right, left, right with a touch. So if we combine all that together, we're gonna walk forward, forward, two, three with a touch, and back, two, three to my left. Left, two, three with a touch, and right, two, Three, and again, forward for me, back for Megan, forward for her, and back for me to my left. <laughs> Megan's right with a touch to my right. Megan's left with a touch. That worked really well. Nice job. Now we're gonna share our three favorite patterns in the waltz, foxtrot, and tango, but make sure you stay to the end of the video where we're gonna share our favorite seven patterns in all the main ballroom dances where you can also see everything done to music. That's gonna be the end, but let's get going with the waltz. So if we combine these walking steps forward, back, left, and right, we can create most of our dances. And in this video, we're gonna do the waltz, foxtrot, and tango. So we're gonna show you the waltz box. This is, we're gonna do this together. Great on a cruise ship, quinceanera, ballroom dance, whatever. This is the waltz box. And we're gonna give you three patterns for each dance using these walking steps, right? We're gonna talk about partnering in just a second. But if we just do my footwork for the leaders, I'm gonna step forward, then I'm gonna to go to the side, change weight together. Now my right foot's gonna go back, back, side, together. So in this case, it's always gonna be forward, left, side, together, back, right, side, together. So keep doing that, guys. For Miss Megan, the followers. Followers, you're going to go back on your right. So we have back on the right, side, Together, when we come together, we're gonna switch weight. Left foot is next. We're gonna go forward, side, together. Again, we have back, side, together, and forward, side, together. So this is called the waltz box. If you can imagine, there's a box, and so we're dancing into the corners of the box. Now, if we're gonna do this with a partner, we have to take what we call closed hold. So I'm gonna do this ESPN 360 style. This hand is gonna go underneath her uh, armpit, hooked around the back. This left hand is gonna go at uh, eye height. Whose eyes? Her eyes. So if I was shorter or taller, it's gonna go to her height. I call this towel on the towel bar. Actually, we had someone that brought this up to us that watched our videos in Chicago and said they remember towel on the towel bar. So that's gonna go there. Miss Megan, just talk about that hand real quick. This hand is gonna go around the leader's bicep. Your arm is going to be touching your partner's, but you are not going to lean on your partner. You have your own arm. The only other thing we have to worry about is what I call being offset. So I'm gonna be over my partner's shoulder. She's gonna be over my right shoulder. That's gonna prevent us from stepping on each other's feet. My left foot's free, Megan's right foot's free. We have our box. Box, two, three, and four, five, six. So this is waltz, it's six beats. If you counted it with numbers, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Forward, side, together, back, side, together. For Miss Megan, it is? Back, side, together, and forward, side, together. So that is your waltz box. That is your basic for waltz. If we have a box, I'm gonna give you three moves for each dance, making them really simple. Second one is the turning box. It looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we did our footwork again separately, same box, it's just turning a quarter turn. Now it does not have to turn a quarter turn, but we're gonna turn it a quarter turn just so you have something to shoot for. So my left foot goes forward, and then I'm gonna step to the side, that's my quarter turn, change my weight. This is the hard part, my right foot's, well actually, let's do that once. So we go 
forward, side, together. Now my right foot's gonna go back, back, side, together. Same thing again, left foot, forward, side, together, right foot, back, side, together. If Megan kind of narrates the followers' footwork. Followers, we're gonna be curving backward first, so we curve back, side, together. Now we're gonna curve forward, side, together, curving back, side, together, curving forward, side, together. So we do this with a partner, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen because we've taught over three million people online and tens of thousands here in person in our studio. The regular box is a piece of cake as long as I remember the correct foot. The turning box is a piece of cake for the first part of it. One, two, three. But now I have to go back on my right foot even though I'm turning to my left. That's a little weird for the leaders. Back, side, together. This is the easy part forward, side, together, and the right foot goes back, side, together. So the way I remember it is forward with the left and back with the right. Whether I'm doing the box or the turning box, regular box is forward with the left and back with the right, forward with the left, back with the right, forward with the left, and back with the right. So it's already two moves with nothing but walking steps. We're gonna add another one to make you look kind of cool. That's called the underarm turn. Let's show it to you. It's still walking steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. You want the good news or the bad news? The good news is for the leaders, all I have to do is a box, finish the box, then I have to do a turning box with my footwork. So that's all I have to do. Guys, leaders, you already know the footwork. Miss Megan, let's talk about your footwork. Followers, our footwork is quite a bit different, but it is still only walking. So we have back, side, together for half of our box. We have a straight forward step. Now we're gonna go out and around. We're gonna walk, walk. Now we're gonna curve, curve, side, together, and then finish our box. Let's do that again. And again, we have one, two, three, forward for four, out and around for five, six. Now forward for one, side two, three, finish four, five, six. So to practice as we call this baby <laughs> steps, and this is what I want you to practice first, leaders. Grab your, cold, your, hold, your uh, closed position, <laughs> then just lift this hand a little bit and use my right hand to send her out and just pull her back to you, right? Just try that. Hand goes up, my right hand sends her out. Do not push, don't push, don't make any noises. They don't like that. So this is what it looks like, then we'll talk you through it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Cool, so keeping the footwork the same. I'm gonna show it both ways though. We go one, two, three. We wanna do this turn. I'm stepping for four, but I'm raising that left hand already. Now I'm taking my right hand to help send her through for five, six. Then my left foot goes forward, Megan's right foot goes forward, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Let's look at it from the other side so you can see what's going on with this hand. Half a box, one, two, three. Now I know I want to turn, so as I step back, I raise my left hand, four, five, six. I go with her, one, two, three three and four, five, six. But there's a problem. You're likely to make this mistake. Do you know what's, what's the mistake? What do you think the mistake is? I mean, is? followers like to turn around too fast. Too fast. So this is what I mean by that. This is sometimes what happens. We get here and then the followers turn all the way around and I'm doing my footwork because I watched <laughs> Brian and Megan's video online and it's not working. So what we need to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here, we're all both going this direction. So this foot, this foot, both these hands go that direction before she turns back. If we look at it from the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, six. I did a little turning box at the end. So that is the waltz. You have your box, your turning box, and your underarm turn, so you will be able to dance waltz no matter where you are. Second dance, shall we do the, let's do the easier of the two. Even though it's WTF Waltz, no it's, yeah, WTF Waltz, Tango, Foxtrot. We're gonna do Foxtrot next because I think that's the easiest walking step. So we know how to walk back, forward. We know how to walk to the sides. We're gonna dance our Foxtrot basic for forward, forward, 
side together. Super duper easy, right? This is probably the easiest of the three. Forward, forward, side together. It does have a little rhythm to it. It's slow, slow, quick, quick. So we're gonna dance slow, slow, quick, quick. If we did it again, slow, slow, quick, quick. Wanna talk about the followers footwork briefly? Followers, we're going backward again. <laughs> All right, so right foot, we're going back, back, side together, back, back, side together. Beautiful. So if we have our clothes hold, everything's the same. Megan's over her, my right shoulder. I'm over Megan's right shoulder. We go forward, forward, side together. Slow, slow, quick, quick. If we went back the other way, this is slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, depending upon where you're dancing, you might not have a gigantic space like we have here in the studio. You might be on a cruise ship at a wedding, something like this. So you'll wanna be able to maneuver around your small floor. So we need to have some moves to do it. Second move is gonna be the promenade, which is slow, slow, quick, quick. There's our basic. Our promenade you've seen in the movies, hi-ya, and slow, slow, quick, quick. So let's talk about that. Let's actually do this this way, Megan, so they can see the footwork. So if my basic went forward, my promenade, all I need to do is just turn to my left shoulder. Everything stays the same here. I turn to my left shoulder and I do the same footwork for forward, forward, side together. If I did it again, forward, forward, side together. If we scooch back and Megan does her footwork. Followers, we get to go forward this time. We're, we'll be turned into a promenade position. We're gonna go forward on our right foot. We have forward, forward. Now we're turning back for side together. So one more time, we have forward, forward, turning side together. Piece of cake. So in my position, I'm gonna do, we are go back to the camera. I'm gonna do one basic and then a promenade so you can see the transition. So if we're doing a basic, slow, slow, quick, quick. All I have to do is as I take this step, I wanna just shift my feet that direction. So I'm in my promenade position already to go slow, slow, quick, quick. I shift again, slow, slow, Quick, quick. We did it back the other way. One basic first. We have a basic, quick, quick, promenade. Slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow, slow, quick, quick. So I promise you three basic moves to get you around the floor. The other one is called the rock turn. So let's just say I'm doing my basic and I run out of space. Slow, slow, quick, quick. There's a wall, there's the end of the dance floor. I need to be able to do a rock turn. Slow, slow, quick, quick to orient myself to where I have some dance floor in front of me. So, leader's footwork for the rock turn. Really simple, imagine like a rocking chair. Just take this right foot, rock forward, rock back. Just kind of do that action, rocking forward and back. But when I do that, I wanna turn a quarter turn to my left. Rock forward, rock back, side together. We're gonna do this around the room. So we go forward, back, side together. Forward, back, side together. Forward, back, side together. So Megan's going to narrate her footwork right from here. Okay, I guess I'm going this I way. lied, I lied. We'll go this way. <laughs> All right, so followers. Oh shoot, here we go. All right. If we I'm get Brian you. oriented, we're going to start our footwork. All right, so we're going to go back on our right. We're going to do that same rocking action, so we'll go back and forth first. So we rock back, forward. As we rock forward, we're going to rotate. So we have rock back, Rotate forward on a curve, side together. Let's do that again. Rock back, curve forward, side together. Back, forward, side together. One more time. Back, curve forward, side together. Beautiful, and because we've taught a gajillion people how to do this, I know what problem's gonna happen, but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so the rock turn, if we do it twice, is slow, slow, quick, quick, or slow, slow, quick, quick. The key, we said it before, is I have to be over my partner's shoulder. So if you imagine, Megan's always in this space over my shoulder, I'm always in this space. So if we keep that orientation, even without touching hands, if she keeps this orientation, and so do I, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now it might be romantic to look your partner in the eyes, but if you do this and she stays in her window, there's no place for her to go because I'm looking at her, right? But if I do this and I kind of keep looking to my left, I'm inviting my partner into that space. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So if we put those three moves together, this will let you dance around even a small floor, no matter where you are. One basic, one promenade, one rock turn. One basic, slow, slow, quick, quick. One promenade, 
slow, slow, quick, quick, one rock turn, slow, slow, quick, quick. Then maybe I'm running out of room from my camera, so I need to go this way. <laughs> I can do a promenade, quick, quick. I can do a rock turn. Maybe I do another rock turn. Maybe I do a basic because I've got some room. Maybe I use my promenade, so you get the idea. So there's three moves in the foxtrot to help you navigate around the dance floor. The third one is the tango. This is, you've ever seen this in the movies? Hiya, right? This is quite cool. I have actually danced tango in a Malaysian karaoke bar. That's Ooh. a true story. So you can use this anywhere. That's a true story. Malaysian karaoke bar. Go. They play the tango right down the aisle. So the basic is this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So kind of we did that tap when we did our side together, side tap, kind of the same action. So we have forward, 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 side, close. And we're just gonna drag this foot and makes it a little dramatic, right? Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow is the drag. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow is that drag. So Megan will narrate her footwork. Followers, we're going to be going backwards. So we have back, 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 side, and the same thing. We're going to pull that foot in, but not put any weight on it. So if we Let's did do that two again, in two in a row. Two in a row, two in a row we have back, 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 side, pull in, or we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Beautiful. So if we do this, and just so if you've been in a ballroom dance class, we'll show you this kind of bougie way to do the hand. I don't even know why they do that, but the official tango dance is karate chop this hand, not on top by my bicep, but underneath. If you want to do that, if you ever go to a ballroom studio, that's the way you'll see them do it. Not necessary just for social dancing, but we'll do it anyways. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now the good thing about this tango basic is it actually can naturally curve. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. I call this NASCAR, like the perpetual <laughs> left turn, right? Ballroom dancing works uh, counterclockwise around the dance floor, so you want to keep that flow, right? So this is, if this is the edge of the floor here, I want to move like NASCAR, or I call it the lazy river counterclockwise. So if we do this basic again, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick quick slow but now the quintessential well it's probably two quintessential tango moves one of them is this promenade hiya so if i do my basic then my promenade and we'll show you the footwork in a second we have slow slow quick quick slow whack slow slow and quick quick slow this might be the trickiest one we've done so far totally doable let's go this direction miss megan so we have to do our hiya then we're going to dance this direction for slow for slow. Here's the tricky part. On the and, and, I shift back to this orientation and do my forward side drag. Forward side drag. So if I do that again, with my slows and quicks, I have slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. That's the tricky part. So Miss Megan, can you do your forward for us? Yes, followers. We are going to be in our promenade position. We have two forward steps, so we have forward, forward. On that and, we are going to be rotated around, but our weight is going to stay on our left foot. Then we have back, side, pull in. So let's do that again. In our promenade position, we have forward, forward, turn. Right foot is still available to go back, side, pull in. So we did that with a partner. We're gonna stop slowly, slow, slow, and freeze. So we have, we're in our promenade position. We do our whack, that little shift. We have slow, slow. Here's the trick. I need to turn my partner with my frame, my two arms, leaving her on that right foot so we can go quick, quick, slow. If we did again, whack. We go slow, slow. Right here with both hands, turn her. Try not to let her step on that foot. Turn her on that left foot and then dance quick, quick, slow, whack, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. So now we have our basic and our promenade, but there's one more that will look really cool and impress people. It's called the corte. It looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. This one's very easy, very easy to do. So leaders, it's the first time we go backwards starting a move. So we're walking backwards, forwards, and it's the same finish, tango, close, we call it. Tango, close, or quick, quick, slow. So leaders, again, we go back, forward, forward, side, close. Awesome. Followers, 
or ladies or Miss Megan. We are going to be going forward on our right leg, kind of in a, a slight lunge. So we are going to go forward, replace, and then back side pull in. Let's do that again. We have forward, replace, back side pull in. So leaders, before we mess this up, what I want you to do with your frame is you want to kind of create this little scoop. A little bit of a scoop. scoop. So I'm going to scoop underneath for slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So if we do that with our partner, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. What will help is I create a little bit of an angle. I don't want to stay super square. I want to take this left side back as I do it to create some space for my partner. Slow, Quick, quick, slow. So we do this again. Two of these in a row. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. If we combine with our promenade to move down the floor and quick, quick, slow. Maybe another promenade. Slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Now I've got some floor in front of me. I can do some basics, curving around. Maybe another basic, curving around. Then I want to look cool because I got some friends over there. I do my promenade to show off. Now I want to walk away from them slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Now, if you want to practice these steps, you probably are wondering what is some good waltz, tango, and foxtrot music to dance to. You can download our list of favorite songs here. And as promised, you can watch our seven favorite patterns in all the ballroom dances, including a run through the music, so you can see how it all works together. And you can watch those right here.